today I'll be sharing with you my not free to play friendly solution to Mark's Abyssal difficulty mode um, in his legendary hero battle. So to start off we have my Reinhardt who is plus 8. He is plus attack and if he was plus 10 that would make a difference as to what skills I need to equip with my other party members. Yes, I did give him Death Blow 4 from an extra Celica that I got in the Chooser Legends banner. I gave him Heavy Blade, which uh, basically makes him a one-turn cooldown for Moonbow on almost every single enemy in this battle. So next we have my Veronica, and she is plus attack and minus speed. I summoned her from the Choose Your Legends banner. Um, it sucks to get a minus speed, but if you're going to get a minus speed or plus attack, it's nice to get a boon in the opposite one. So that way I just slap the speed plus 3 on her, and she's basically like a neutral Veronica with a plus 3 attack seal thing on her. So I'm pretty happy with her IVs other than that. Nothing else really matters on her build here. I gave her spur attack. Doesn't really matter. You do need home cavalry though. Up next is my performing arts Azura. She's pretty basic, but you absolutely need drive attack too. I had to upgrade that secret seal. Um, here's my legendary Ike. He's plus three. He's plus attack. I absolutely had to give him spur attack three in order to clear this map and he also has distant defense all right so let's get started okay so to start off our positioning is perfect so the first thing we're gonna do is take out this sword fighter Ike over here, sing to Reinhardt, and draw back. We'll move Veronica over here. So Ike will easily be able to take out this green mage. Okay, so this is where it takes a lot of trial and error in Legendary Hero Battles. You need to decide who you need to kill first and who you can take hits from. So this Bow Cavalier can one-hit KO my Veronica and my Performing Arts Azura, so we need to get rid of him first. Again, you have to decide who you're going to be able to withstand a hit from, so I'm going to need to attack this bow fighter next. And like I said, all the spur and drive bonuses really help with my attack here. I'm able to one-hit KO a lot of enemies. So I'm going to move Veronica over and attack this sword flyer. And I'm going to be able to finish him off with Ike. So the Lance Fighter is going to attack Veronica. And Veronica will be able to survive. Again, a lot of trial and error seeing I, who I needed to kill and who I could keep alive. So now we actually have some space. And Reinhardt will be able to easily take out both of these Lance people. But I have to watch out for this cleric's panic ploy, so that will determine um, where I move Reinhardt. So we'll be able to take out this Lance Fighter. You will back down. Of course. We're going to sing to Reinhardt. And this is where positioning is important. If I attack this Lance Knight from here, this Cleric's Panic Ploy will put Panic on Reinhardt, and because he would have gotten the Hone buffs from Veronica, he would have seriously um, 
lost a lot of power. So I'm putting Reinhardt over here to avoid the panic, and I'll put Veronica next to Reinhardt because Veronica will not be attacking this turn. So, we are going to take out this red dragon here. And I need to be careful with Azura because this red cavalier will be able to take her out. So with all the spur and drive bonuses, I'll be able to take out this red dragon here. You will back down. And we'll have to move Azura out of the way of this red cavalier. So we'll move down here, sing to Reinhardt. And then Reinhardt will be able to take out this Lance Fighter. Magic is everything. Again, notice the heavy blade at work here. Did you call for me? So I'll keep Ike here and I'll move Veronica out of the way because Ike will be able to take out this other green mage. Distant defense is pretty important here, otherwise I don't think Ike would survive. End of the line. Alright, this is where we get down to business. So Reinhardt will be able to take out this Red Cavalier. And this is where the Drive Attack 2 and Spur Attack 3 is absolutely necessary for Reinhardt to be able to one-hit KO Mark. If my Reinhardt was plus 10, I could have done with Drive Attack 1 or Spur Attack 2, but because he's not plus 10 yet, I needed all the extra attack support I could get. And I did have to upgrade that Sacred Seal. So, that is the goal of this whole thing, is to be able to one-hit KO Mark. And we are able to do that. Just so. And I think I can leave everyone here. This cleric is going to attack my Reinhardt, so I don't want to move Veronica next to him. So we'll be able to take out this bow fighter with one hit. I give it my all. all thanks to spur and drive bonuses. Of course. Please stay safe. Let's move. So I'm actually gonna attack this cleric with Ike first. And then Reinhardt is going to be able to finish him off. Magic is everything. I will now I need to heal Ike. He wouldn't be able to survive the hit from this Lance Cavalier without healing, and Veronica's buffs also help him. gonna heal up Reinhardt for good measure. I'm with you. Let's go. And that's it. Magic is everything. Alright everyone, thanks for watching and remember the world could always use more heroes.